All right, welcome everyone. Today we are going to take a look at some new smart home products from SwitchBot that they provided for today's review. I have the SwitchBot itself, the SwitchBot thermometer and the hygrometer, and the SwitchBot Hub Mini. I'm excited to review these SwitchBots in particular because it has a little robotic finger that can physically push buttons and switches. Basically, with the SwitchBot, you can turn anything with a toggle switch into a smart home device and automate it with Alexa, Google Assistant, or if this, then that. The SwitchBot looks like a great solution for people renting or people who have older houses without neutral wires or complicated switch configurations that prevent them from upgrading to smart switches. So let's unbox and set up the SwitchBot now. All right, so we have all three devices in front of us. First, we have the SwitchBot itself. We have the SwitchBot thermometer and hygrometer. And lastly, we have the SwitchBot Hub Mini. And the SwitchBot Hub Mini allows you to connect all of your smart devices from SwitchBot to their cloud for remote access and automation. So let's start by unboxing the SwitchBot. So there's our SwitchBot. For the SwitchBot to do its job, it needs to firmly be connected to some sort of flat surface. So it comes with spare adhesive 3M mount strips, and these little guys here are for actually pulling the switches. So if you're wondering if this is only pushing switches, how does it turn it off? There's a mode where um, if it's in light switch mode, this little finger can pull. So you attach this to the opposite side of your light switch to get that going, and we'll show that a little bit later. So I've already downloaded the SwitchBot app onto my iPhone and pulled the pull tab so the battery's activated. And it communicates over Bluetooth and inside the app it's actually showing Bot07 in here and uh, I just need to pair it. So let me click on that and see what happens. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I'm geeking out over this a little bit too much but this is my first physical smart device and that's kind of neat. It's like a little robot. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this later. So the battery that comes with the SwitchBot is actually supposed to last for 600 days in case you were curious and it is user replaceable. But for now, let's go ahead and put this to the side and see what comes in the other boxes. All right, so next up, let's take a look at this thermometer and hygrometer. So I kind of like the form factor on these things. They're pretty small, simple packaging. It's like good design, but we will test that and see how they actually work. All right, so as you can see, we have our little standard like sticker that shows what the LCD screen is going to look like. So we'll take that off. And there's a battery compartment on the back here. We'll set up with their included batteries. All right, so out of the box, it seems to be defaulting to Celsius. So let me see if I can figure out how to change that. And so here it says, press and hold the button on the back until the Bluetooth icon on the screen blinks. So there's our button. Let's push and hold on that. There's our blinking Bluetooth icon. Let's push on next. Bingo, well that's fun. We'll leave it as the default nickname of meter four and push the check mark. And now that he's added to the SwitchBot app, let's click on the gear icon here and see if we can change our settings. Inside here, you can do things like set temperature and humidity alerts, do some calibration. I'm still looking for that preferences for Celsius and Fahrenheit. Found it. So that same button that you use for Bluetooth pairing, you just push once to toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and there we go. So in the room right now, we are at 76 degrees Fahrenheit and 50% humidity. Alexa, what temperature is it in the office? The office temperature is 76 degrees. All right, so the temperature on the SwitchBot thermometer seems to be agreeing with my Ecobee remote temperature probe for this room. And as you can see here, the SwitchBot hygrometer is reading a humidity level of 46% versus the 50% on this competing AccuRite hygrometer from Walmart. And they both have about the same temperature within about a degree of each other. So lastly, let's dig into the SwitchBot Hub Mini here and see how to sync all these devices with the cloud service. All right, so let's dig into the SwitchBot Hub Mini now. Okay, looks like we have a standard USB cord included, more 3M adhesive backings. And this little guy is the SwitchBot Mini Hub. 
Got four rubberized feet on the back. Looks like some sort of key mounting hole if you want to use a screw to hang that up on the wall instead of the uh, 3M backing here. And here's the quick start guide. All right, so according to the uh, instructions, I need to plug the USB cord down in here to give this guy power. And then the SwitchBot hub can be activated through Bluetooth by pushing on this top button here. And that should show up inside of the uh, SwitchBot app. So let's go ahead and find a port for this guy, plug him in and pair him up. So now we're gonna plug the USB cord into the power port of the SwitchBot mini hub. I'm gonna select the hub mini. And it says to long press the button on top of the device for three seconds until the indicator light starts flashing. Okay, so I'm assuming that is our flashing indicator light, so let's click on next. Maybe try that one more time. There we go. We want rapidly flashing. So now that things are paired, what we can do is connect that to our Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that off screen now. And it paired successfully. So not only does this little SwitchBot mini hub allow you to control all of your SwitchBot devices and synchronize it with the cloud, Alexa, Google Assistant, and if then then that, it also has an infrared blaster inside of it so that when you're inside of the SwitchBot application here, you can go under Add Device and add something like your TV, select your hub, and select your model of television. And then under Smart Learning, you can just go ahead and push that button and pair it with your remote. And once you have your TV remote successfully paired, you can see it under your available hub devices. So I'll push on TV and you can see it gives you a nice display of your television remote control. So for example, if one of your kids leaves the room and forgets to shut off the television, you can go ahead and do that remotely by uh, pushing the power button here or screaming, Alexa, turn off the TV. Okay. All right, so now we're in my kitchen and I'm gonna use the switch bot here to control this light switch that is a common pass through for the house that often gets left on. So what we're gonna do is just stick this on here and it's gonna to toggle the switch on and off. But you might be wondering if this is just a finger that pops out and pushes the light switch, how does it turn it back on? So there's this little lasso here that you attach to the end of the switch bot and that allows it to pull the light switch back out again. So to do that we're going to need to go into the app and set up the mode. And we're going to change it from press mode to switch mode. We're going to confirm that setting. And now when you do that the little finger comes out of the switch bot and allows you to put that little lasso on the end. And it hooks into that little T groove there. So now what I'm going to do is take the 3M adhesive backing off the back of the switch bot and the lasso as well. And now I'm gonna place the switch bot directly below my switch. So now lastly, we just need to inverse this on off direction here so that now that the light is off, it is synced up with what the setting is in the application. All right, so now all I have to do is test it out. So that's pretty cool, and let's turn it off. I've also synced it up to the cloud, so let's tell Alexa to do it. Alexa, turn on the switch bot. Okay. Alexa, turn off the switch bot. Okay. So yeah, I gotta say that's pretty cool. And if you're in a situation maybe where you're renting and you can't replace your switches, or maybe you're on a complicated like three or four way switch situation where you don't wanna go looking for smart switches, this is a great physical robot that'll just turn your switches on and off for you. So lots of people in my other reviews have been looking for smart switches that don't require neutral wires, and I think this is a really clever and easy solution for them. I love that the SwitchBot is mechanical because you can come up with all sorts of interesting automation routines with this, and combined with the hygrometer, you can create automation routines based on the temperature of the room, and maybe have the SwitchBot toggle on a fan switch, for example. People doing hydroponics would appreciate being able to remotely check the humidity as well. So let me know what you think in the comments, and please consider subscribing if you found this review helpful, and thanks for watching.